So today's video is about a misconception and one problem. The problem is called a TDI clatter issues, clatter noises and the misconception is called the injector calibration or the deviation amount control calibration. So we are gonna start with the very first thing which is the source of the noise, source of the clatter which is called a piston slap. And this problem is not a fuel system related problem which you can solve with injector calibration. A piston slap is something nature of metals. Your engine block is made up of cast iron and your pistons are made up of aluminum. So they both have different contraction and expansion rates under thermal loads. So when the engine is cold, pistons are actually smaller as compared to when it's warmed up. When they get warmed up, they fit to the size of the cylinder. But till the time in the cold engine, piston is actually loose inside the cylinder. So when it moves up and down, it has a little bit of sidewards motion which actually hits the cylinder wall on both sides on both strokes that's where you hear the clatter noises that's called a piston slap so what is the uh, way to reduce the piston slap very first thing in the morning you have to do is uh, start your vehicle let it run for three to four minutes before you drive it and start driving after three to four minutes and till the time it reaches its operating temperature drive it with a light foot and after a certain amount of driving like 100 or 200 kilometers you will start to notice that your engine is clattering much less than before second thing is injector calibration stuff okay uh, let me connect the obd11 to the port and i'll show you some data and then explain it so now we are connected with the obd11 uh, engine control module live data and then we have to search for the word energy e measured energy of main injection cylinder number four so here you can see we have the data uh, the amount of energy produced in every combustion cycle and as far as we know that there is no such sensor in the combustion chamber which can actually calculate the amount of energy produced inside the combustion cycle so how is uh, your ecu able to calculate i'm putting up a slow-mo video uh, to explain you how it calculates and then i'll explain about the injection calibration stuff so in this slow-mo video you can see uh, that's the camshaft gear and behind those camshaft gears there are lobes metallic lobes uh, which the camshaft sensor reads and this is the camshaft sensor so the ECM can actually calculate the amount of energy produced in a combustion cycle from the time one lobe crosses the camshaft sensor and then the second lobes come so the time in between those two lobes can actually tell the ECM how much amount of energy is being produced inside the combustion cycle. So if one cylinder is producing uh, more energy than the other, so the lobes related to that cylinder will move faster as compared to other loads. And by that data, your ECM can actually calculate the amount of energy produced in a combustion cycle. And now comes the TDI injector calibration stuff. As you can see, this is the amount of deviation in my engine. Cylinder number one and cylinder number three, both are running positive. Cylinder number two and four, both are running negative. So a lot of people will conclude that positive cylinders means positive, uh, deviation means the injector is getting leaked and the negative inject the deviation means the injector is getting choked and not pouring enough or not injecting enough amount of fuel inside the cylinder but that is not true along with the time the engine start to have carbon deposits and when that carbon deposits breaks down into fine particles and along with the engine oil that gets circulated to the pistons and gets stuck between the piston rings and over the time, due to those carbon deposits inside the piston rings, 
piston creates a better seal against the uh, cylinder wall as compared to other cylinders so at this point of time if i go and check compression on all of my four cylinders they will vary so one piston having more compression means obviously it will create more power than others so your ecm is intentionally cutting or adding fuel as per the requirement just to balance that time in between the lobes to perform a smoothest possible idle speed if i uh, press down on the throttle pedal you'll see they all become same so so your injector calibration is only valid till your engine is idling after that it doesn't matter this is not a problem it is something your ecm is doing intentionally to maintain a smoothest possible idle speed and that is one of the main reasons that after a engine flush you will feel that your engine has become a lot more smooth because that engine flush has the capabilities to dissolve that carbon deposits and flush it out so your pistons all of them becomes equal in the compression zone and if you really want to correct this injector deviation i guess uh, rather than just calibrating it perform a flush first that's the way to go and it's not a problem and mechanics will charge close to 600 700000 rupees for just the injector calibration and you literally got nothing out of it